You finished with the pizza? Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, so, ladies, this video is for ladies, uh, particularly, like, dealing with modesty. Um, just with our jeans. Like, nowadays, they making them super low cut to where even if we wanted to have a little height on our jeans, like, we want, if we wanted to come a little bit higher, like, if we, because the jeans are cut so low, they cut right here. My jeans used to be, like, up here when I was little. And um, it seems like nowadays, all they make is low-rise jeans, um, unless you buy them specifically for them to be high waist. All The only other option is low waist. They don't, ain't no middleman. No, we about to go. Go put on some real pants and um, some shoes. Okay. So, um, anyway, so my husband didn't like how he, he, the pants being low cut didn't bother him. What bothered him was when I would reach up in the cabinet to grab something and my back would show um, or my shirt will like this, kind, especially this kind of shirt, especially this kind of shirt will rod up like. You see how it's like it's 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 crinkled and if I reach up high, it like makes it to go like that. Well, my husband didn't used to like that because when I used to reach up high, it would show my back. Or unfortunately, sometimes when I would like like because our kids was little, so I would, when I would like get down like this on the floor to like change a diaper or find something, my my backside would be showing. Like the pants would get so low that. Hey, how can I say this without being nasty? My back, basically my booty was showing. Um, you could see my booty when I would like being like down like this. Like when I was being down, you know, low. And my husband did not like that. He always said, I can see your booty. I can see your back when I reach up high. He'd be like, I can see your back when I reach, the, reach to do something down low. He'd be like, I can see your booty. So, the Lord just showed me something. Um, not just, I've been doing it for like the past two or three years since I since he really expressed to me that he didn't like it. Um, so one day I was getting my clothes together, whatever, whatever, and I stumbled across one of my camis. And ladies, you know, camis is like shirts that's like this, or it'll have like the spaghetti straps. So what I came up with was to was to get a cami or like a t a tank shirt like this that's thin. Um, so in the summertime you won't be too hot, and in the wintertime, you know, it won't bump heads with whatever you're trying to wear or whatever. Um, so what I came up with is um, to, you know, wear your t-shirt, but under it, put a cami that match it and camis be like $2 or three. This one was $3 at Walmart, but then Walmart got some that are $1.99. So what you would do for modesty's sake is you would put the color, um, cami that you wear on your shirt underneath it. But instead of having them both hang loose at the bottom, tuck the cami in. What's up? I need the toilet paper because, because, because Joy made me spill water on the table. You gonna clean up a toilet paper? Get the toilet paper. Get, no, use this. That's better. Okay. But anyway, um, okay. So you know, so what I was saying was, I take the cami, this cami, and I tuck it in. That way, if I have to reach up real high, all you see is another shirt that matches the shirt I got on, and you don't really know what's going on. You don't know if this is my underwear or what. Not you don't know if this is my underwear. What? And the shirt. You don't need to put change the shirt, okay. okay. But anyway, um, yeah, so I put on the cami, I tuck the cami in so that you know it's tucked in enough to where if I right if I reach my hand up high, you don't see my back, and if I squat down low, you don't see my backside. Um, and that's just for modesty's sake. Like, teach this tip to your girl, to your uh, your little girls if you got kids, to your sisters, to your cousins, to your auntie, to your mama, because it, it'll keep us from having our booties out every time we being like this. It'll keep us from having our booties out, and every time we reach up, it'll keep our back from showing. Mommy, have a towel. It'll keep our backs from showing. And I wanted to share that with y'all. Now, before I was doing the matching shirt, like gray with gray, I used to do, <laughs> I used to just have like only a few camis. So I would put a white cami under everything. So I would have on a black shirt with a white cami. I do not recommend getting a white one because one day I went to work. Mom, I put it in the trash. Yes. One day I went to work and 
this girl, she was sitting in the desk, kind of like diagonal from me, but she was facing my backside. And my pen dropped on the floor. So I went to pick up my pen like this, and she seen the cami that was underneath my black shirt. It was a white cami. And she was like, wow, India, why is your underwear so big? She was playing. She was like, India, you got on some big underwear, girl. What is the maternity? Like, she didn't say it out loud on blast like that, but she was like, India, is the maternity underwear? Because they looking huge. So with the white cami, it looked like big underwear. Like, I just had on some super long underwear. So I don't <laughs> recommend um, doing white. You could do black or like skin tone. Like I got a brown one that look okay with certain stuff. But I recommend doing a color that match. But if you can't, then it's better to have a white. Uh, I mean, it's better to have a black or, you know, white cami show. Okay. It's better to have a black or white cami show than it is to have your back or your behind showing. As women of God, as women of modesty, as women of standard, we don't want our backside to be showing. Every time we bend down to pick up, we may drop some. We drop our dollar on the floor. We go down and pick it up to pay the cashier and everybody behind us doesn't see our backside. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Because I still see it on a lot of women. And I'll be wanting to walk up to them and tell them, you know. But I'll be feeling nervous. Like, I guess I got to break out of that nervousness. Um, because I would want somebody to tell me. So, I'm just sharing it with y'all. And when my daughters get older, of course, they're going to have a camp. They do that. Don't y'all do that? Don't y'all wear a t-shirt? Tuck the t-shirt in? Yeah, they do. Okay. I'll have them do that. Um, but, yeah, I just wanted to share that tip. And so, if you tie to your backside showing or your behind showing when you bend down and pick up something. But you don't want to always. Because my first... I came up with the solution of wearing only long shirts. But eventually, you get tired of buying long shirts and you want to get shirts that's like comfortable, like a comfortable t shirt. And, um, sorry, y'all, my kids, they just got finished eating. But you want to wear something comfortable. Um, so I came up with long shirts. That didn't work because I don't got all long shirts. I was about to buy this thing that kind of, um, it's like a half shirt. It, go, it come from here to here. So your backside don't show, but that don't work because it rod up. I never got it. I just thought about it like that's not going to work. So the Lord showed me that so I can be modest and a woman of God. And, <laughs> you know, okay, you told me that at the same time. But I hope you all like that too. See you all later. My kids, it's, I got to get to my kids. I love you. Bye-bye.